hi aries welcome back to the channel aries the emperor here i am back with another general reading for all of my aries collective if you guys are new here welcome this is an all aries channel for all aries placements cross watchers you are welcome as well to everyone just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate and that is okay do not force the reading and a special thank you to all of you guys who take the time to like and subscribe to the channel I'm ever so grateful for um, your comments, your donations to those of you who book readings, um, shop the website. I am working to um, deliver and connect with you guys regarding your personal readings and your candle orders. Um, if you'd like to connect with me, all of my information is in the description box down below. As well as my second channel, um, I dropped another reading over there on kiss my cosmo where i read for all 12 zodiac signs um and i may do a taurus reading as well i'm gonna do a collective reading over there and i'm gonna do a taurus reading as well too so um that was a request so stay tuned check us out all right let's jump into this reading let's see what what comes out for you aries um people may feel like they know you man i don't know why i just i don't know why <laughs> They decide to try and study such a creature as yourself. <laughs> such a phenomenal, exceptional, remarkable creature as yourself, right? But they do it, you know, and people like to feel like they know you better than, than you know them. Um, and, and for you, I feel like that's like a part of the fun in your relationships or like in your connections, um, like subconsciously, because like there's a, a level of like warlike st strategy or st like you being militant, like, um, especially if you have Gemini and Aries. Um, but it's, it's just something that is, I would say praiseworthy. <laughs> Look at this always partying. <laughs> You could be somebody who, who like comes across as like the party type when really you're a homebody, you know, people just so happen to see you at certain places. Um, you may look a certain way that you're not, you don't normally look and, you know, it just may surprise people. They may not be ready for it. Um, but you, I feel like it's, it's giving great Gatsby type energy, you know, when I think it's like Leonardo DiCaprio when he played it, but if you've ever read the book, I read the book as well. So um this the lifestyle it's it's like you give that that aesthetic it's, it's, it's something that um people can love and, and people can be hateful and jealous of regardless of how you put it together or where you get it from or how you make it look um yeah people they they have something to say about that they feel a way about that your fashion tees um or like i said your energy because that's a oh, look what came out y'all out of all of these cards, the spiritual hater came out. Hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. I mean, I didn't make it up. I felt it a little bit, <laughs> but I didn't make it up. I spoke on it a little bit, but I didn't make it up. Mm, mm, mm. And then this like an energy where you can walk it like you talk it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There, you don't have nothing to prove. And even if you did, you have the receipts. It's like, you're, it's just that simple. And when you're one with God, you have to think about how simple that really is. That connection itself is so rare. And 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 people want to put so, add so much to the list um, of a, like I said, a relationship that where you're supposed to be one with God, you know, not one with God and all this other accessories and, and, and baggage and, and, um, Ooh, mm, mm, mm. you're coming off as the real thing. You know, people feel like they have to defend themselves or their religions or what they practice or how, how they preach. Um, they want to, if they don't say anything to you, I feel like they do want to say something to you or they do, they feel a way about it. You, you are challenging people's minds. Um, their surroundings, you know, their environments. It's that sort of thing. And like when that happens, that's like shaking up somebody's foundation. Like they start feeling like they don't know who they are and then they start blaming you and then they become a spiritual hater because they want to call it witchcraft and say you put a spell on them or some ridiculous ass shit. Yeah, it's that type of energy. <laughs> For some of you guys, it may not apply to everybody, but um, this 
card here came out, it says fake accounts, fake social media, accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. However, they can get their eyes on you or have eyes on you or have a story passed down about you. You know what I'm saying? Or I mean, this could possibly be um, fake accounts, um, troll pages. Um, some of you guys could be victims of that sort of thing here. Um, and, and that's what this is. I also feel like it's people hiding, you know, not really wanting to do their proper research. Like people just, they'd rather, I don't know. It's like this energy is, is just, it's just stooping to the lowest level, the lowest frequency. Like it's not even a frequency. anybody that has to hide behind anything is a coward is a fake is a phony and they don't know shit about you because you the realest the thing ever walking as real as they come so they definitely don't know you and they don't <clears throat> know what they speak on Some of you could be getting back in shape or some of you guys could be runners out here. I've never been a runner. <laughs> I like to exercise, but running, I've never been a runner. Give me one more spirit and we're going to do some, pull some tarot. Didn't want those to come out. Fake smiles. Threatening. Intimidating. Threatened. Bothered. So some of you guys could have, this is like energies that smile in your face, but you know, they're just, they're not really rooting for you. They don't really care for you um, to begin with. Um, it's, it's just a, a energy of, you know, people, they like to know what's going on in other people's lives besides theirs, especially if you're an energy that makes someone feel threatened um, or intimidated by, you know, their smile um, or, or I feel like whatever that they have is, is not real. It's, it's just that it's fake. They hide them behind a facade and maybe you could see right through that. I feel like a lot of you guys can see through right through a lot of situations and individuals and um, it's, it's frightening. All right, let's pull some tarot. Holy Spirit, angels. Uh, people could be saying you are threatening. <laughs> I'm getting that. Look at the moon card. Pisces energy. Whole bunch of scaredy cats. I read something that said... Um, seek for respect over attention. It lasts longer. And you are the respect kind. Because it takes a lot, you know, to be able to not let people affect your shine, your light, your interests, you know, and, and to know if something is really meant for you to actually do it. And, and versus being somebody who has to run from them, their real selves. And like I said, hide behind the internet or troll pages or just in general, coward around and, and lurk and, and pry in your business or make up lies about you or, or create negative narratives about you that aren't true to begin with. 
And I feel like it's an energy where you don't have to, you know, defend yourself. But three of swords, it could be a painful thing here. You have people who are jaded by you or, you know, you may feel jaded by someone. Just take it how it resonates. But this just inner energies. I feel like if you feel like somebody betrayed you, they feel the same way about you, that you let them down in some way, shape or form. You know, or you left a wound on someone um, that they'll never be the same. They'll never love the same again. Or it's going to take some time for some healing here for somebody. And somebody felt like you would never get over them. That you would always come back and let them continue to walk over you or, or reopen the same wound. Nine of Cups, but you found a way out. Like if people are speaking on how it looks like you're doing much better, whether you feel like it or not, that you're looking very good. You're looking very, it's, this is just like, um, you, things that they didn't think that you could do are things that have come true for you. You are a prosperous energy. You are someone who is of abundance within yourself. You know, but they were so busy um, being toxic or like this could be an energy of somebody who suffered from their own trauma. So, you know, how what they say, you got to love yourself to be able to love somebody else type energy. And if you don't love yourself, then what do you expect? How do you expect to be able to love someone else or them to be able to even love you correctly? You know, at that point, it becomes a, a matter of trauma bonding. Um, and, and even if that was the case, you know, this, this still an energy where, um, like I said, people are just shocked. Some of you could be very talented. Some of you guys could be getting back to your roots is what I'm getting. There's luck there. There is some type of growth is nine cups is a lot. You know, this is purpose driven and it's something you meant to do and you do well at. You bring in a lot. You make people happy or you affect. You putting, you pouring good, sowing good seeds back into the universe with this here. And that's what's being said about you is and noticed as well here. And it hurts. You have people who are happy. You have people who are hurt about it. Sick about it. Sad about it. Ill about it. <laughs> You're still going to get a good night's rest about it for a swords, Gemini energy. Knight of pentacles. Like, yeah, you could have been a late bloomer. Um, a lot of you guys, like I said here, um, your success levels are, are your, or your success timing is different for everyone. Some are more successful or, or they find their purpose early in life. Others later in life. That's the Knight of Pentacles symbolizes um, something coming in, but it coming in a little slower or later, but it's still the same shiny prize. Like it's still just as valuable. It's still worth every penny. It's still a blessing. It's like still a, a, a abundant here. And, and this is you, whether it's just something physically for you or people see that it's energetically or something that's within you. You've a seed has been sold in you. Oh, and they can't do nothing about it. And look, it's like this one knight of pentacles here. He's got one pinnacle and it's like this person has four. Still ain't enough. Other messages, spirit. All right, this card came out, which it came with the deck, so I'm just going to put it over here. 
but it's a struggle of some sort here that someone may be experiencing or having. Or someone comparing their life versus yours or how things may have looked chaotic for you at one point, but it's like things are ironing themselves out. The sun brightening up for you. Better days are happening or coming in for you in some way, shape or form. Leo energy. I see a lot of you, you have um, creative blockages. I feel like that are starting to subside. Some of you may be getting good news regarding your health. Or people are just talking about how golden, how radiant, how tan, you know, how your your skin is glowing and you know your hair is is is, is shining and you know you just look youthful. Um and it, I mean there is definitely being noticed that your smile is not fake. And just like everyone else, you know, your pain is still real. Three of Pentacles, but you're still not just going to surround yourself with anybody. They know that. And, and people can see, like, Aries, you the type of energy, either you fool with somebody or you don't. Like, there's no in-between. Can I trust you or, or can't I? Like, that's, that's, that's it. That's all I need to know. Because when you win, you know, you care about... The people who are closest to you and around you, you know, you're a giver. So you, you take care of people unconditionally. You love people. You know, you give people the benefit of the doubt. So it's very important. And especially, uh, I feel like that's why like energies may be so jaded or feel just angry or, um, or make up narratives because they know like that there's nothing they can do other than them. And that's just like a, a low last resort type of thing here. It doesn't change anything. You know what I'm saying here? But it brings more light to your name. <laughs> okay, so, so many cards just fell. Ah, okay, I didn't want to burn my uh, hair. And look, the star was one of the cards that fell on the floor. What do you know? What do you know? Aries, the star of the show. <laughs> I'm not going to make this reading long because like I said I, I just wanted to pop in and do an energy check for the collective it may be Sunday for some of you guys it may be Monday for some of you guys um, but this reading is timeless as well so I hope you're enjoying your morning your evening um your afternoon at this time always sending out protection love light and healing energy to each and every last one of you all right we have the eight of cups Like I said, when your heart ain't in something anymore, you'll walk away in a heartbeat. People didn't think that was real. People don't think that's real. They don't even think that's in you. They just think of you as, oh, Aries, it's not going anywhere. But maybe Aries is the tower, okay? We'll <laughs> bring all of this sh down type energy when it's not right. Like that's just when it's not right is it's just not right here. And people they cannot stand that you can do that, that you have that kind of trait. You you able to bounce back, you know, you able to pick your things up and go and go find yourself somewhere if, if it's not aligning. Or a lot of you guys are becoming more strengthened in that. That's how you know you are evolving and you're ascending. Um, so keep up the good work for sure. Because um, when you build something, you never want it to be built on a faulty foundation. So um, just make sure, or I feel like you are making sure, but 
Um, <laughs> it's like, I feel like people wish they can just reach out and touch you right now. Just like give you a hug right now. Just say hi to you right now. And just for old time's sake with you right now type energy. Even if they act like they don't want to. Ain't that something? People be crazy, man. Like, what the fuck? I know I can be a little cuckoo sometimes, but damn. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just, it's just like you think you're having a bad day and then you hear somebody else's story that's just a little bit more rougher than yours. Oh, it's raining, y'all. Y'all hear that? Thunder. But it's just like you think you have a bad day and then you hear somebody else's story, like, and it's just 10 times or a few, you know, times worse than yours. You know, it's. Page of Wands, Aries Energy Tower. Yeah, like I said, somebody thought you were like a page. He didn't know you was a big tower. He didn't know you blow shit up. And like I said, bring shit down. You give people the benefit of the doubt because you know you fire. You know what you lead with. You know how you can get. But they don't. You know, and, and like I said, um, it's, 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 it's something that spirit like protects you and keeps you in. You always have some type of force of protection, whether it's physical or, or, or mental, spiritual, it's just whatever needs to come in and swoop and be there for you at that time. So whoever, like I said, tries to plot against you, you can change. You know, without you even realizing that you're picking up on a faulty energy and pull yourself out of it. Pull the plug before they do. See, see them or see right through the situation before they do. And you're good at it. It's like people don't want you to have a certain amount of attention or certain people want to have access to you, but not everyone else have access to you, if that makes sense. Like someone wants to seclude you. I'll pull a few more. Chariot Cancer Energy. It's like people look at you as like some type of superhero type of human half, you know, they feel like there's something in you, extraterrestrial in you, you know, something out of this world in you, or you, you stepped into something or a portal or just however it resonates, right? It is, it's somebody feels like something happen to you for you um and and it's 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 not only intriguing but it's it's scary at the same time like there may be stories that people have made up about you but one thing remains the same here that you yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Like, I mean, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy, Jupiter energy. It's and it's what did I say about a superhero? Like, you have something and have this. It's it's just one thing about it. Um, you are taken care of. Like, you are top of the list. Angels working overtime, helping you with this. And it may seem like a supernatural thing to other people. Like you get a certain uh, special invitation in, into something here that others probably, like I said here, they feel a way about. 
because they don't understand, but they would definitely be one of the ones to raise their hand for this. If they could like bump you off. Mm, 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 mm. Let's close it out, spirit. Some of you guys could be getting the opportunity to travel to a foreign land. Somewhere you are exotic, you've never been before. Some of you are, I see like a budding type of romance. Or is this like a friends to maybe benefits here? But I definitely see dating out here. Oh. King of Swords, Page of Cups, Pisces and a... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. It's like you got elders or you got people maybe wiser or people more established or people ahead of you. Um, people who are actually like you, but they appear differently out in public or it's, 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 you got them admiring you. Um, and, and at the same time, wanting to study you, um, and at the same time, talking about you and hating on you. High priestess is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, but wouldn't dare say it to anything to you about this. Like you're challenging people's beliefs. Like I said here, you got the star card right underneath the high priestess. This is occult practices, spirituality work industry of some sort here. Um, or you being into that, you know, you getting your guidance from another realm here and not like everyone else who's got the spiritual hater and it not being something that's demonic and devilish and turning you into zombies and all this other ridiculous shit, you know, that people like to make up and play with, you know, that's what people are saying. Ten of Swords, and they want to end something for you and can't do nothing about it. It's not a mask you can take off. You're not, you could have Gemini aspected in your chart, but um, this is a personal thing that people have with you. You know, it's, it's something they take personal, their energy towards you because you leave like an imprint on whoever you come into contact. Um, they take that so serious your last encounter or whatever relationship that they have with you, um, that it's, it's like, it's a frequency thing and, and they attach, they're trying to attach their frequency to yours. So, um, it's, it's, it's just a energy where they lose it. And when I say lose it, cause Gemini energy could be bad mouthing you as communication, you know, that sort of thing here spreading, like I said earlier, a negative and a, narrative about you being a troll here just hating on you but at the same time admiring you and wanting to be like you dress like you talk like you act like you work like you you know what i mean have ideas like you but at the same time projecting onto you because the ten of swords is not a healthy situation it's definitely at least it's somebody who can't who who is mentally disturbed and it's, it's not a, a positive emotional state to be able to even communicate with somebody here. Like it's, it's come to a, um, a close, like whatever this is, it's done. And these people know that. Then that's like the worst feeling in the world. That's like D-E-A-T-H for them. Because it could be that of the, relate, of the relationship, the friendship, the whatever ship, the job, just separating yourself in general here. You yourself d-e-a-t-h-n and, and experiencing a transformation or a rebirth 
of some sort here. You got people talking about that and expressing that. Um, and like I said, there's nothing that they can do to block that. You know, this you have something behind you that is so much stronger. And it is real. So real. Okay. I'm going to leave this reading here, y'all. 30 minutes. Uh, y'all said my readings was getting shorter, but they take longer to upload. I can't tell you how many issues I've been having, but hit that like and subscribe button. Four more messages from me. I'll catch you later. Um, catch me on Kiss My Cosmo. I think I'm going to head over there on the other side to see if we can see the rain from the other view. Okay. Follow me, guys. Ciao.